Welcome to Tag Team Friday. I am so excited to be with you today and share with you this cute little happy fat uh, gardening tag that you can give to a friend. I like to, in the springtime or right before spring, I like to give some of my seeds that I save to friends to plant in their garden. So I think this is going to be fun for all of us. Uh, this has a little packet of my green bean seeds, my famous green beans. It has a little gardening notebook for her and it has a couple of other packets of seeds. So we are going to be making lots of parts and pieces today. And it's gonna be a little bit different than this. This was my prototype and I saw a couple of things I didn't really um, like about it. Like both of the flowers were on the same side and you really couldn't see a gift from your garden. So that's why it's always good to make a prototype before you actually dive into the project um, and see if it's actually going to work. So anyway, that's, that's sort of where we're going. It's a little bit different, I changed my mind. So I took some things from the beautiful vintage garden set on the premium website of the Graphics Fairy. And that's what where all these beautiful flowers and all the components that we are going to use today uh, came from. And I really like to do my own kind of graphic design things with um, as we go along. So I took this beautiful iris and I took this beautiful pink flower cabbage rose, I think perhaps it is. And I created my own on just a nice yellow background sheet that they include for us too. There's so many wonderful things to choose from. It's hard to select one thing that you want, one set of pictures that you want to work with because they're all so beautiful. But I was in a spring kind of gardening mood today, so that's kind of where this cute fat little tag came from. All right, so I, I, um, made this little printable for myself, printed it out. It's two-sided, so I had to, um, this is kind of a, what it looks like printed on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And uh, I will include that as well, uh, a little printable for you to print out exactly what I'm doing and I will include a blank sheet so you can cut your own elements out and make fat tags for other things other than for gardening. Okay, so I just, I love rounded corners. So the first thing I'm gonna do with this, if I can get it in here and do it well, is round my corners. And I printed this on index, heavy index card, but you can print it on anything you like. It's beautiful with handmade papers. I love that as well. Okay, that didn't quite work. I can't talk and chew gum at the same time, but anyway, you get the idea. Okay, so glue those together, and my secret for gluing is I like to use a dry kind of glue. A lot of people love the wet glue and some of the wet glues dry quickly, but when I'm working with papers, sometimes it can make them wrinkle and crinkle. So my favorite thing is to use just a glue stick or a dry glue. And make sure when you glue them together to kind of run over them with a bone folder or something to make sure they are solidly put together. So the first thing I want to do is round the corners. The next thing I'm going to do, I think, is go ahead and just age the edges just a tad. I don't, I don't do this a whole lot. Um, some people love it with their papers, but I, I have other ways of aging that I like. So I'm just going to age what is coming across around the front. So it's kind of up to you if you want to keep this light and airy or you want to give it a good amount of age. Up to you. 
I kind of made a mess here, so we're just going to go with it and make it a little more messy. All right. So I'm going to decide where to fold. And let's just fold this up and look what we want to do. And I'm not the world's greatest cutter by any means. So a lot of times I will use um, my wonderful, wonderful, handy dandy um, guillotine to cut my pages with. But if you're good with your hands and scissors, go ahead and cut it out by hand. And I want to show you this. This was kind of my um, inspiration for this. I love these little things, and I thought that would make a great kind of pocket tag. So that's where that's where I'm headed from today. All right. So I like to use on. Oops. That's okay. We won't see that. I love to show you my oops and messes because that helps you understand that everything just doesn't go together perfectly as you try to do it. So I like to use a tape runner along the sides of my pockets. And let me grab a little piece of scrap paper here. Because you don't want to get this on your table. You don't want to get it on your hands. You don't want to get it on um, on anything else. So I'm just going to run it right along here. And I'm going to scoot it over, way, way over. And I am going to come down like this. Always have something for your glue. Always, always have a piece of paper to put your glue on and throw it away immediately. So you don't get a mess. So let me fold this up and crease this and just kind of burnish it along the sides to make sure that pocket is steady. If you're going to use something other than uh, a cardstock or a heavy paper, maybe when you do this, just kind of stick your hand in the pocket and Burnish your, those sides down so you have a little bit of room if you're going to put, some, especially if something really bulky is going to go in there. So that's just a little tip and trick from me. Uh, for this, I think this is about five inches wide. So I am going to measure in the middle and go ahead and punch my hole. Excuse if I get my head in the way. That's a little bit over five and a half. So I left some edging on the side so that you can trim it down the side if you like. So two and a half, so let's just go kind of right there for our hole. And find my hole punch. I like to kind of do all this preparatory work first so that I have it out of the way. So let's get in here. Kind of eye that carefully. And punch. Hey, I did well with that. Yay! <laughs> sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And if you want to reinforce it, go ahead. If you have some reinforcements, go ahead and, little, and reinforce that little puppy right now because sometimes that will tear when we go about putting the ribbon or whatever you pull, whatever you want to put through your little hole here. Sometimes that happens. So I like to keep reinforcements on my desk at all times. All right, so that is really the tag. We have made the tag already. That's how easy it was. The hardest part of this is actually cutting it out. At least it is for me and these old hands. But we're doing pretty well with this. So I want to show you. This is another printable, printable that came with the uh, Vintage Garden set, or bundle, as they like to call them. And I kind of uh, use these. This is like a sticker set, is what it said. So you can print this out on sticker paper and put it on the top of your, um, and just 
glue what you want onto something to make your book out of. That's kind of cute. You could even make a card out of these. I think there's some blank ones as well that don't have the garden notebook on it. But anyway, that's a pretty nifty little printable. So I went ahead and chose this one and I went ahead and I cut some papers for the inside. So let me show you how I go about making that happen. These papers are just a little bit shorter than uh, the book, the outside dimensions of the book, as you will see. So they fit in here pretty well. I'm going to show you a handy dandy, hope it works, trick of mine for doing these little books that, um, that I, you don't need to sew. So let me make sure that I am on camera here. And I just open up, if I don't have a stapler that goes all the way across, <laughs> I go ahead and just take my stapler, line it up where I know those the staples come out, and push. And it didn't do exactly right. It actually did what it was supposed to do. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And uh, since my desk is wood, whoops, that's stuck in there. Not a good thing, Rebecca. Let's try that one more time. Okay, there's what I wanted it to do for you, is just to get partially in and go ahead and poke it through. Take your time and poke it, poke it, poke it through. Thank you. Okay. And take your bone folder and just push that down toward the center. Come on, Rebecca. Push it down. It's easier for me to push this way. And push that side down. And then you've got your little booklet. Hopefully I've got a little booklet. Having all kinds of issues, aren't I? <laughs> okay, we're going to push that down and see what that does. It just closes it over. And that's a quick little way to make a book. Quick, quick, quick. Down and dirty way to make. And I think I'm going to buy a stapler with a longer reach. <laughs> that might be a good idea, huh? All right, so there's my cute little garden notebook in there. Love it, love it. Let me get my stuff back. Make sure I'm centered again. Okay, so that works. And I, anytime you're making books, I love to make books. I'm the I'm from the bookery, so I love these little clips. That holds things in place while you do things like staple or sew. So get yourself some little clips that aren't too um, compression so that you can um, do it without marring the pages. Okay, so let's go to our next little thing here. And it is this journaling card with a pocket. And that is what I used over here to put my green bean seeds in. So let me show you how I made that happen. So, 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 so. Let me make sure that's in the right place. Sort of in the right place kind of hard to keep your head out of the way when you're making videos because you want to just get in here and look real close and sometimes that doesn't work well for the camera. So anyway, you score that and fold that and I'm just going to fold this a hair, just a little bit, crease it, finger crease. Then I am going to Go ahead and crease it with my bone folder. I 
then I think you see where I'm going with this. And go ahead and let me get a scrap piece of paper again. And I am going to put my tape runner on the edges here. Just to close up this edge. And you could actually tuck it in if you want. I'm going to leave this one open for now so I can put my seeds in there to share. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. There are so many fun things to do when we are creating. And this tag thing has been so much fun for me to explore. Okay, so I think we're doing well with that. And you can, of course, buy some seeds if that is what you need to do. You can certainly buy them as well as create them or get them from your garden. And I love these little um, cutouts that I used. Uh, I think it was, let me measure that. That is about an inch and a half punch. I think I printed mine on um, like fit to the medium on my printer. So they came out a little bit less than one and a half, but those should come out at about one and a half. See, yeah, that was printed at the right um, size right there. So you can see that. But I just went ahead and put a little ink around the edges. You can put these in. I thought this was kind of cute to maybe put it on the back and sign it. So use, use some of these wonderful components that we've got. I am going to go ahead and add my little piece of ribbon. And just put it in there, fold it over, open it up and run the legs of the ribbon through and then tighten it, hopefully without tearing up the actual card. But that's kind of cute. I also thought it might be cute to put uh, some of those tags up there as well. And then all you have to do is sign it and say happy gardening or happy spring or whatever you want to do on your card. Kind of running out of ink here. And slip your wonderful little packets in there. And embellish it however you like. I kind of want them to see my iris there, so I'm going to kind of push this over in that direction. All right, so there you go. There's our wonderful, fat, juicy pocket made with our vintage garden set from the Graphics Fairies Premium site. I hope you have enjoyed this, and I look forward to every Friday to see the tags that the tag team is making. They're all just more ingenious than the last. Uh, so I, I love that. I love Tag Team Friday. So this is Rebecca, and I'm signing out for now. May joy be with you all.